here is that if there are existing financing vehicles that are in place or other things that, you know, like contracts that aren't assignable, that are very valuable to the company and that sort of thing, you're way better off to continue the, the business that existed before. Um, so my question is, I'm doing a lot of uh, acquisitions or trying to do a lot of acquisitions and uh, equipment dealerships, equipment rental companies, that type of thing. Yep. Um, and a lot of these folks um, have uh, hefty um, like floor financing, lines of credit and other other financing that, you know, keeps their floor models on there and they rotate. And yep. um, so, you know, I'm, I'm putting a couple of deals together and the smaller ones are kind of easier, but the, the, the bigger ones, what, do you think it would be better to do acquisition of the shares of the company to make it easier to move right into these, uh, these big lines of credit that they have with these manufacturers and Huntington and such? I do. Yeah. And, and that's, so the, the cool thing about that is that, uh, and it's a really good thing for everybody to hear is that if there are existing financing vehicles that are in place or other things that, you know, like contracts that aren't assignable, that are very valuable to the company and that sort of thing, you're way better off to continue the, the business that existed before. And so that would mean that you would do an equity buy or a stock buy versus an asset uh, buy. But if you want the best of both worlds, you can hybridize that. So as long as you don't do something that violates a covenant in the agreement, like the company will continue to have these assets or the loans become due and payable or the lines are cancelable in the event of these, these events, right? Then what you can do, like, and some of those are sale of the company, some of them are change of control that may or may not be in there. But, um, what you ideally can do then is you can do what's called a hybrid transaction. And you can basically say either the assets that you're concerned about potentially having exposure can be purchased by your SPV as well as the stock or equity in the company you're buying. Now you've got both, the best of both worlds. You've got the equity, so the entity still exists, but the assets that you wanted to protect come in separately. And that's a really cool way to do those deals uh, when you've got something like this. So your situation is definitely one where we probably are going to lean towards an equity acquisition. And then to protect ourselves, are there assets that we could put into the SPV or alternatively, could we protect ourselves by having the SPV either loan money to you to make the purchase and then get a priority lien on the assets of the company or... Could we do a management contract between the SPV and the company that you're buying the equity in where there's a contract for management that takes out the bulk of the income and they've got a priority claim to that? So there's there's a few ways to skin that cap.